let's take a look here at Convertix to DVD 3 to convert a video file. I will drop and drag a video file into the interface. I could also do so add a file by going to File, Add a Video File, or use this green plus button here. Alright, now that I've added the file I'd like to convert, like DivX or AVI or Move format or FLV format, WMV format, any type of format to DVD. I've added it and I click on the Convert button. Once I have a blank DVD inserted into my burner, the film will be burnt automatically onto DVD after the conversion is finished. So, as easy as that. But let's go ahead and take a look at the other settings here. I will go ahead and add another video file. We'll get on to that. And we've opened that up. All right, great. So now I can see, clicking on the videos, I can see on the right, the preview, the images, the parts that are of this video file. Here we go, great. So I know what that looks like. And uh, we come back here. And well, let's click on the DVD options and take a look at um, what I can do here. I can see now that the template that will be used for my menu is shown on the right. I can change the menu template by double clicking on it and clicking on the list and looking down here to see what else I can see. I will select a different one and, and activate that by clicking on the green check mark button. Alright, now I see a little preview of this. Now these thumbnails, they will be uh, actual small parts of the video that will are the two files I've added to be converted. So in my title menu I will have a little preview of each video so I can see which one it is that I'd like to watch with the final result. Now I have uh, some options underneath here. Play video automatically. So that way, the, if I click check this, the title menu will not appear when it's inserted into the DVD player, but the first file will start playing right away. I have loop playback, so when the last file is played, it will start playing the first file all over again and go in a loop. Play videos one after the other. This will play them one after the other, not showing the menu in between. It's up to you on the settings you'd like to use. We also have already pre checked is the skip root menu so that way from the menu where you have all your videos that you've converted when you press on one it, go has it goes ahead and starts playing that one right away alright now let's go ahead and take a look at these files here we've already seen a preview of this one and now I'd like to take a look at this other file here I have subtitles in here which are great to look at I can see that one subtitle stream has been found which is great now know that the subtitles will not be shown in the preview window during the conversion but to watch them on the final results you just click on the subtitle button on your DVD remote control so that way they are activated just like any other DVD alright great I can see the chapters I can add more of those if I'd like alright looks great now we can also go into the settings and look at the other settings that we have here I would often like to look at the burning tab here we can see that my burner has been detected. Uh, speed 4 it is set to. Now I see that there are faster speeds, but I know that leaving at a slow burning speed will ensure good quality. So I will leave it at 4. Alright, that looks good. And do I want to apply these values to my project? Yes, I do. Alright, now I'm good to go. I can see here the conversion advisor says excellent. Um, why does it say excellent? Well, I haven't added I can see I have one minute for one file, 21 minutes for another file. That's about 30 minutes of video. If you have under two hours of video, the conversion advisor will tell you that it's excellent. You should have good quality for the output. Adding more than two or three video hours of video could give you quality that's a little bit less better than the original file. Um, even if it's at red, the conversion will go well, go through, and burn to DVD, but you might risk losing some quality. That's why you shouldn't put too many hours on your video. I'd say, you know, under three hours. Alright, so clicking on convert, I can see the conversion has begun. I uh, can see the bar here on the bottom left is starting to move along. And I'm all good to go. My blank DVD is inserted in the burner. I can step away now from the computer. And when I come back, the project will be burnt onto DVD. Alright, have fun using Convertix to DVD.